today I wanted to create a project um, not only making a bracelet but turning a bracelet into a trinket and this is the mold that I'm going to use I ordered this off of a website called Little Windows and this is a square mold I ordered they have different uh, types of silicone molds and this one is square and when you pour the resin it hardens and turns into a square bracelet so um, before I begin, I wanted to show you the resin that I'll be using, and I've ordered this offline at Amazon. Um, this is general use uh, resin for general purposes, and it works really, really well. It, it um, leaves a really clear finish. So go on Amazon, type in resin for general use, and this will pop up, and it's about $40-something, dollars, $39.99, dollars for taxes. So I will begin. So right now I am going to mix equal parts resin and equal parts partner. I always want to wipe your cap off. You don't want any resin to harden around the cap. Part A, and then this is part B. You do the exact same thing, wipe the cap off. And you want to make sure you scrape the sides. You want to make sure you get all your resin out. Resin is very expensive, so you don't want to lose any of it. I'm going to set this to the side. I've set my timer for three minutes, and then I'm going to begin mixing the resin. And you want to mix for three minutes to make sure everything is equally distributed. You're going to see a bunch of string and lines throughout it. It's going to look cloudy, which is what you want it to look as you're mixing it. And the more you mix it, the more clear it'll start to get. But the reason you want to mix it is to equally combine it. And it doesn't matter how much you use, make sure it's just equal parts. One to one ratio. Some resins call from two to one. This brand that I buy and brands that I've bought in the past, they are equal amounts, which I kind of prefer because I don't want to put the guesswork in 
measuring two to one. So this is just easy, no matter how much you mix, just as long as it's equal parts resin and equal parts hardener. And I'm just gonna let this mix for three minutes. Switching hands because my hands are getting a little tired. And, you know, mixing it for three minutes, making sure that it's equally distributed. Some uh, solutions call for mixing up to five minutes, anywhere from three to five minutes. I just let mine mix for three minutes, and then I let it sit for ten minutes. So just follow the instructions on the uh, packaging. Um, you can mix all the way up to three minutes, but... I take that additional time to let it rest by letting it sit for up to 10 minutes. Um, so in the past, when I made projects, I would mix for five minutes and let it sit for five minutes. Um, but now I kind of like mixing for three minutes and letting it sit for 10 minutes. And the longer you let it sit, the more the gases in here come up to the top, which allow the air bubbles to pop and gives you a clearer solution. So, you know, it's up to you. Um, most instructions call for mixing three to five minutes. Like I say, I mix for three minutes and then let it sit for 10 minutes. I've seen videos where they've let it sit up to 20 minutes. If you let it sit up to 20 minutes, it gets really tacky and it becomes extremely thick. And if you have a project where you don't want it to sort of spread out too much, then by all means, let it sit for 20 minutes. Um, but you want to use it right away, you, you know, after 20 minutes, it's going to start to solidify. Okay, my timer has gone off. I've let it completely mix for three minutes. I'm going to set it to the side. And now I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes. So I've started my timer. And it's going to sit for 10 minutes. And then I'll see you back here in 10 minutes. And we'll proceed with the video. <clears throat> and I wanted to okay. show you some photos that I am going to be working with. And if you ever wondered if you could put photos in resin, the answer is yes. Yes, you can put photos in resin. This one is a photo of me. Um, put that other photo. This is a photo of me trying to look cute, drinking a glass of water. Um, this is a photo of my nieces, Elena and Alana. And is this other photo fell on the floor. This is a photo of my sister. This was taken on Valentine's Day. She. Uh, had her makeup done by my daughter who uh, does makeup videos on her channel I am lovely Monet and uh, she created this Valentine's Day look for her but I am going to put these in resin and if you ever wonder if you can put photos in resin the answer is yes you can put photos in resin you can put pretty much anything I've put candy you can put and if you watch my first video when I did refrigerator magnets I use candies I use M&Ms I use um, Jolly Ranchers, I use Mike and Ike's, I use Peppermint's. So you can pretty much put anything in resin. You can put um, metal wiring, you can put fabric, you can put paper. So I am going to show you some unique um, things that you can do with uh, resin, silicone mold, and a photo. So stay tuned to the rest of the video. I have my resin sitting here for 10 minutes, let it rest, and we'll proceed with the rest of the video. So please stay tuned. Okay, guys, it's been 10 minutes, and the resin has set for 10 minutes and the bubbles have been allowed to rise to the top and now I will begin with the video so please enjoy it's been 10 minutes and now I am just going to pour my resin inside of my silicone mold 
And I have a layer of um, parchment paper down, wax paper. Um, anytime you're working with resin, you want to make sure you put a layer down of plastic. Sometimes I use a shower curtain liner. Um, you can get those at the dollar store. They're just like a buck. And uh, those work well. Um, wax paper, parchment paper, that type of material, plastic. It doesn't really stick to resin. You can just pull it up. Okay. So now I've already filled my mold. Um, I'm going to set this to the side. And then what you can do with this is you can add all sorts of things to this. This is just a metal wire that I had. I was trying to figure out what did I want to add to this. So I decided, you know, I'm going to add a metal wire. So let me move my lighter out of the way. This will be used to kind of pop in the air bubbles. And you can bend this and sort of make all different type of shapes with it. But for now, I'm just going to make it into a sweater. I'm going to keep from trying to make a little mess. I'm going to make sure it's properly bent. And this is why you wear gloves. So if resin gets on your hands, or on your gloves, I should say, you don't have to worry about the mess. Just going to wipe this off. So all I did was inserted a metal wire inside of it. This is one of these really flexible wires. And I'll continue to push this down and it'll um, start to harden. So it's popping up now. Let me use my wooden stick to push it down. And eventually it will stay down. Right now I just didn't sort of work with it before I put it in. But it'll stay down, I promise you. And another trick, guys, um, you can always put the metal wire in before you pour the resin. So sometimes don't listen to me when I tell you to do some things. If you think, okay, why don't I try it with the metal inside first? Do that. Please do that. Sometimes I have to kind of go through things the hard way. I'm just going to clean up my mess. And I'll play around with this a little bit more. I promise you it'll look completely different once it stays down in there. And it will stay down in there. Right now, I'll just keep pushing it down in there. But for sake of this video, I'm going to move on to the next step because I promise you it will stay down in there. Just cleaning it up. I'm going to push this to the side. So once it completely hardens, this is what it will look like. This is the bracelet. And as you can see, I sort of did a little design with this one. I sort of uh, twirled the uh, wire um, and put it in there. Like I say, it will sit down in there. I'm just uh, finished messing around with it once the video is done. Um, I should have put it in there before. Actually, I did that one. I put that one in there first and then put the resin. Um, but this is what it'll look like, guys. So when it comes out, this is what it'll look like. And it's an actual bracelet. So I got gloves on. And this is what it'll look like. Isn't that pretty? So this is part two of this video. I mean, I'm sorry. This is part one of this video. Please excuse me when I'm talking. But this is part one of this video. So part two... I am going to actually turn this bracelet into a trinket. So let's begin with part two. So once you've let the bracelet set, what I'm going to do is I have some E6000 and I have some adhesive glue. You can use whatever. You could use resin if you choose. You could use whatever you want to get this to stick. 
Um, I am going to use, let's see, I'll use this one. I've used the resin, um, I've used the E6000, and I've used the glue. So you can use whatever you want. Oh, this is sort of stuck. Here we go. So all I'm going to do, which side did I want to use? You know what, I'll use this side. Is create a thin layer around the bracelet. And you can wear this as a bracelet. You can um, add this with any of your outfits and be on the go with it. But I am going to show you something else. Another project. And I hope you guys try this. I really do. You can order the silicone molds anywhere. This one I just happened to get off a shop called, uh, from a shop called Little Windows. And they have some really unique stuff. So I've put a nice small layer. And actually I can use this even though it has resin on it. It's fine. Make sure it's completely distributed around the edge. I see some falling down. It's fine. I'll wipe it up. So what I'm going to do is turn this upside down and place this on top of my photo. Now mind you, I've already made a bracelet. This is a bracelet. You can wear this. You can get up and go and wear this. But I am going to turn this into something else. And as you can see, So as you can see, I've added a thin layer of glue. You can use resin. I've used resin before, but I've added a thin layer of glue around my bracelet. Remember, I made a bracelet, and I put a thin layer around it, and I've attached it to a photo. You see that? I'm going to just press it down, and I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to let this sit and dry for about 30 minutes. You want to make sure it's completely sealed. Now remember, guys, I made a bracelet. And I've attached the bracelet. I've added a, uh, a layer of glue around it. You, I've used resin. You can use resin. You can use glue. Whatever will adhere to your object. So I put a small thin layer of glue around this, and I've attached this to my photo. And so once it hardens, this is what it's going to look like. This is a photo of my daughter. I know these look really weird. <laughs> And this is a photo of my niece, Elena. Push this up so you guys can see what I'm doing. This is Miss Elena. I put, I made another bracelet. This is a bracelet I made. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Oh, it's a bracelet mold. And I had a little bit of resin left over from another project that I was working on. And I didn't want to waste it. Anytime you have a little bit of resin left over, you want to use it for something else. So I put that little small trim of blue in the bottom part. So that's why you see that little shiny trim of blue. And I did the exact same thing. I made a bracelet and then I've added a thin layer of glue. And these have already hardened. And now I'm just gonna proceed to the next step. And the only thing you're gonna do is pour resin on top of your photo. And it's okay if you didn't completely seal it. I mean, you want it completely sealed, but it's okay if some of the resin leaks out on the side. Just let it continue harden, and you can cut around it. I've tried to make sure I've had enough glue, but like I say, if you don't get it all, it's okay. And then those will sit and harden. Those will sit and harden. Like I said, I've already um, added the glue around this bracelet one. This is a photo of me um, drinking a glass of water. Um, I'm going to let that sit for about 30 minutes, but these have already sat for uh, 30 minutes. As a matter of fact, they've sat overnight. And I've poured a thin layer of resin inside the photo. And once it's done, this is what the next step looks like. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And I wanted to show you some of the projects that I had done. 
And this one, like I say, these are bracelets that I made. And I attached the bracelet on top of a photo and made little trinkets out of it. I don't know if you can see it. Let me have this ring light on in the background. So let me try to make it so it's not so reflective. Let's see which way. This is a picture of my sister Tina. I'm sorry, guys. Um, this ring light. This is her daughter, Adara. This is my niece, Adara. And so these are trinkets that I made. You can put whatever you want in it. It's hard. I've added the bracelet on top of the photos, and then I poured resin on top of it, and this is what I made. Sorry, guys. I'll make this so you can't really... Let me pull it back. Okay, that's a little bit better. So this is a, a photo of my niece, and this is my sister. Sorry, this is my sister, and then this is her daughter. And this is, uh, as told by Tana, she has her own YouTube channel, but I put her photo, I put the bracelet on top of her photo, let it harden, um, let it sit for about 30 minutes, um, and then poured a layer of resin on top of it. So this is Tina. This is Adara, my niece Adara. I made a bunch of them. These are my grandkids. This is Carly and this is Chase. Her name is Carly Rose. She's named after me. And then this is my grandson, Chase. Here's another one of me. As you can tell, I like myself. This is another one of me. And these are little trinkets. You can put whatever you want in them. I mean, they're good to go. I need to finish sanding this down. Some of the resin. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but a little bit of Resin just kind of leaked out just a little bit, and it'll harden. And I need to cut. I cut around this, but I didn't do a good job, so I'm gonna have to sand it down. But yeah, this is. You can take a bracelet, uh, silicone mold, and turn it into a bracelet, and then you can turn that bracelet into a trinket. And so, I'm trying to keep from letting the light reflect. And I have my ring light on in the background, so it's kind of messing with the color. This is another photo of my niece, Alana. This is a photo of my sister, Sabrina, who's in Texas. And so, guys, I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think, you know, um, turning a silicone mold into a bracelet, turning a bracelet silicone mold, um, and then using that bracelet and to turn it into little trinkets. These are little trinkets, and, they're, and they're, it, it's hard. It is hard. You can put whatever you want in it. You can put your jewelry in there, your wedding rings, your earrings, whatever you want special, you can put it in there. So I've made all of these. I made a bunch of them. So anyways, it's kind of hard for me to hold them. But thank you for tuning in to my channel, guys. I really hope you like this video. Let me know what you think. Please hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Leave comments. I love it when you guys leave, read, uh, leave comments. I read them every single day. Um, and then just hit the like button. Um, I like getting feedback from you guys. So thanks for tuning in. To the